Bob Flax here. I play things with strings, I hit stuff, and I sing. And it's time for a hands-free episode of Fuzz Fiddle with Flax. <laughs> Today we're talking about a pedal made by a wonderful small builder in Sweden. His name is Frederick Lixgen? Lix, Lixgen? I, I don't know how to pronounce it. We're going to say Frederick. His company is called Parasite Studio. Parasite? Parasite. Parasite. I'm going to say Parasite Studio. I don't speak Swedish. If you know this person and this builder, please feel free to chime in and correct me. Really amazing small builder. He does a lot of PCB printed circuit board kits so you can DIY your own pedals using his designs. One of the very first pedals of his I encountered was the U235 sub octave generator, which I used to great effect, turning my violin into an evil bass synthesizer. It's really fun and remains on my board basically has been on my board ever since I got it. I love that sound, it's awesome. So when I saw that he made this pedal, I got very excited and wanted to try it out. Um, it's a little weird though. So let's take a look. Dun, da, 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 theremin fuzz. Dun, da, 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 what the heck? This is um, the theremin fuzz. So if you're not familiar with the theremin, this is a device instrument that was invented in 1920 by a gentleman named Leon Theremin. You've probably heard it in science fiction soundtracks. It's a very iconic sound and sort of a wacky bit of electronics. One of the things that is both a blessing and a curse about the theremin is since there's no physical touch, there's no way to easily uh, intonate the instrument. The sound of the theremin is always one of sort of electronic struggle with pitch accuracy. Something I can relate to as a fretless stringed instrument player. So I was really excited to see this theremin fuzz exists and it does a pretty good job of accurately rendering how difficult it is to get a theremin in tune. What do I mean by that? Well, let me show you. There are three controls on here, two knobs and one switch. I'm gonna leave the switch down and I'm gonna turn the uh, theremin all the way to the theremin side, check it out. First, my clean signal. I'm just going from my violin, Schertler Stat V pickup, going into, at this point, the fuzz directly, and then that's going into the rest of my board. Pretty much everything is bypassed. I am using the Chase Bliss Benson preamp automaton to help shape the tone a little bit, as well as the uh, always on Crazy Tube Circuits Golden Ratio Compressor into my GFI system Cabzeus into my interface. sound right that's pretty fun um you'll notice that this is one of those synthesizer pedal effects that just keeps the sustain going way longer and it's designed for guitar guitar doesn't have sustain theremin does so when it hears a note it'll just keep sustaining until there's no input signal and it's doing its best to track the pitch but as you can hear it's not very reliable and that's kind of the charm okay so that's the theremin side of things let me show you the fuzz side of things. So I'm gonna turn the fuzz knob all the way back. <laughs> it's kind of got a lo-fi sort of 
glitchy, sort of almost bit crushed sound to the fuzz. Really interesting how when the note dies away though, can you hear how it sort of fizzles out in an interesting way? I'm looking at the starts and ends of notes because most of the time with fuzz, you get a sausage. Let's listen to the start and the end of notes some more. Okay, so we've got a gated fuzz of some kind. I'm not exactly sure how, but that's pretty wild and bonkers and I like it. Let's go back to the blend somewhere in the middle and then I'm gonna try it with the bow as well. The bow doesn't play nice with the theremin control. Kind of a bummer, but kind of the point. Let's have a listen. Blend back to the middle so you hear some fuzz and some theremin effect and then let's see how it plays with the bow. freaking bonkers, right? <laughs> Let's have a listen now. I've turned the uh, blend back up so it's more theremin, less fuzz, and I want you to hear what the octave up toggle does. It's even wackier and tracks even less good. <laughs> Wonderful. So for me, I think the sweet spot on this pedal, if there is a sweet spot, is kind of for one of three purposes. Either you just like the theremin effect and want it to go bonkers and don't want to hear any of the dry signal, all the way theremin. Or you just like the sound of the fuzz, all the way fuzz. But there's plenty of fuzzes. Why would you buy a theremin fuzz if you only like the fuzz sound? Spoiler alert, that is actually what tipped me over the edge to buy it. As I said, at least if I don't like the theremin part, I like the fuzz. Honestly, I think probably my favorite setting in here is with a little bit of theremin blended in and used as a regular fuzz that has something slightly wrong with it. That's fun. Let's have a listen to that sound. I swear, I'm perfectly in tune. It's just the theremin circuit. <laughs> what a good excuse. Just for giggles, let's see what it sounds like with a lower instrument running through it. Chinchello time.
Conclusion time. Do you need this pedal? Probably not. It's really weird and does only a couple of specific things, but it's fun and uh, it does have a really good sounding fuzz that if you set it all that way, it gives you the nice saturated kind of fuzz sausage vibes. But there, there's something weird going on here and I don't know exactly what it is. I bought this so you don't have to. <laughs> I would describe this as a three trick pony. There's a the all the way fuzz and it's a pretty good sounding fuzz there's the all the way theremin and it's a weird glitch machine that does a that's probably my favorite part of the sound and then you can set it somewhere in the middle the tracking on the octave up is abysmally bad um and really doesn't play nicely with the bow kind of works better with a guitar but even then it's it's designed to not track perfectly so if that's your flavor of fun this is a freakout machine that might be for you. Parasit Studio has made a ton of really amazing sounds. I will link to his shop in the description down below. So you can check out things like the U235 Sub Octave Generator, which is my favorite, as well as his recent designs like the Arcadiator and a bunch of other sort of 8-bit synth fuzzy kind of effects. Really cool stuff. This one is <laughs> kind of like the theremin. Cool in principle. In practice, I don't really use it that much. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. And if you'd like to watch more episodes, subscribe to the channel. If you have a favorite digital fuzz or fuzz that uses some sort of chip tune, 8-bit clipping sort of circuit, uh, leave a comment and let me know. Or if you have some other effects pedal that you'd like me to review, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you think that this is terrible and everything I do is trash, leave a comment. Your engagement helps me out. And if you really want to support the channel, you can sign up to become a patron of mine on patreon.com. My monthly patron support is one of the things helping to keep the lights on. So I really appreciate you guys. All right. See you in the next one. Bye.